Oh, yes. Yes, I think we can quite happily say that Jerry's parachutist will be as dead as mutton from Stead and Simpsons to Timothy White. <laughs> the time is now 1700 and... No, <clears throat> 1900. <laughs> the time is now 9.15. No, no, that would only upset the rifle rotor. Besides, the member of the rifle doesn't have a water bottle, so that in turn would upset the water bottle rotor. <laughs> oh, I do hope they quit themselves well. They're a grand bunch, but I have so much to do that there are serious gaps in their training. Now, I think it's only fair to say that our shooting today wouldn't have killed many Nazis. On the other hand, it would have made them jolly well keep their heads down. I don't think we ought to do that, you know, sir. Why not? Well, it will cause a penny shortage in the town. Well? Well, it will be a very inconvenient, sir. Stand a minute, please. All right, sir. Uh, oh, you, would you mind just uh, stand, stand, stand again? <laughs> Give it in the form of an order, Wilson. How do we know that he's not a German spy? Well, of course he isn't. The British Army officer's uniform. Yes, well, the accent doesn't exactly match the uniform. <laughs> well, don't let's be snobbish, Wilson. They couldn't have come at a better time, could they? I agree, sir. Instead of looking like partisans, we're going to look like something out of Fred Karma's army. This is madness, sir. We'd, we'd never get away with it. I quite agree with you. I mean, if somebody found out, we'd be up for a court martial. I signed on as a drummer boy in 1884. Later, saw service in the Sudan. Fought the Fuzzy Wuzzies. Fuzzy Wuzzies, they were the boys. They come at you with a great long knife and zip you right open. <laughs> <laughs> My morale's all shattered, sir. I tried to keep it from the men, but what can you do with a shattered morale, sir? Permission to speak, sir? Yes, sir. We captured a couple of Jerry parachuters. You what? Yes, sir. Just showed them the cold steel, they come quite as mouses. Mm. You don't want to worry about the men not being able to shoot right, sir. As long as they can fix bayonets and charge, that's what matters. See, the Hun doesn't like it up him, sir. He does not like it up him. As soon as you get the cold steel... <laughs> yes, 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 my <laughs> Oh, I'm, uh, what's his name, uh, reserved occupation. How do you make that up? Well, I'm an wholesale supplier, aren't I? I mean, I supply central supplies. Any previous military experience? Well, I've got a girlfriend in the ATS. I've just been on the blower, sir, to a geezer in the smoke. I'll get you the rifles, as many as you want. Eighteen quid a time. Well, uh, for a fiver, I could rustle you up a medieval dinner. <laughs> What's that? A very rare luxury, sir. Roast swan. You look as though you've been stuck against a wall to be shot. <laughs> Half the tomb was doing the shooting, they'd have nothing to worry about. <laughs> The last one, sir. What do you mean, the last one? They're nowhere near high enough. Oh, well, there's no more sand, sir. No more sand? Lots of little beach full of it down there. Oh, well, the tide's in. The war's up to here. But right over my mum's Wellington's getting that last one. No mufflers on parade. Don't see the grenadier guards wearing mufflers, do you, Sergeant? Well, I never really thought to look, sir. Well, of course you don't. Well, I've got a note from your mum, sir. Note? I'm not interested in notes. You're in the army now. Thank you. They wanted a tinkle, sir. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's what my mum calls it. Give me this, son. <laughs> what do you do that for? Well, I, I don't know, sir, but I saw Gary Cooper doing the film once. I imagine you've not had any previous army experience. No, no, not at all. No, we can usually tell Tommy Sergeant. Yes, we can, sir. Once yes. a soldier, always a soldier. Yes, of course. Uh -huh. I'm a sailor. Chief <laughs> <laughs> Petty Officer, Royal Navy. This way will be lucky if we get our rifles in time to fire the victory salute. What's he doing about it? Some of them might even be disguised in British, as British Army officers. Then... And they'd come up to you, give you stupid instructions. Then, uh, how do you tell the difference? <laughs> steady, steady, Fraser. It's all right, sir. I was in mines when was during the war. I, I used to pick off the mines. Hold on! <laughs> Mr. Mannering would rather like to have your rifle. Who would like to have uh, it? Captain Mannering. But he can't have it. Now, look here, Godfrey. Hand over that gun at once. I, I don't see why I should. Well, the, the foreign gentlemen, sir, they wanted to wash their hands. <laughs> Why didn't you tell them they couldn't? <laughs> We're not beasts, are we, sir? <laughs> right, thank you, please, Godfrey. Hello, Godfrey. Come Very seasoned man, sir. The BGS has appointed me to inspect training and battle drill in all our home guard units in this command. And I'm going to start with you. Tomorrow afternoon, there's going to be a shooting contest between you and the Eastgate platoon. So pick out your three best shots and have them on the range tomorrow at 1300 hours. It's your bedtime. I can't come now, Mom. <laughs> yes, dear, well, you just have to blow it up tomorrow. Oh, I'm surprised at you. After all, you know what time he goes to bed. Charlie Cheeseman, a cheerful chum's on the top of the bill. Charlie Cheeseman, yeah. cheerful? Oh, I love him. He always makes me laugh. Doesn't he make you laugh, Arthur? Hmm. Yes, Miss King. It's Anthony Eaton, sir. In person? In the It's very important. Hey, we see you all going. It's only 5.15. All right, Miss King, you can go too. Oh, thank you very much, sir. It's my wife's birthday. You see, we're going out for a little dinner celebration. Uh, do you think you're going to be long? 
Well, that rather depends on Jerry, doesn't it? And I, I say, you, you fascist beasts. <laughs> Don't be like that, Dad. There's a war on. There's a what? There's a war on. Oh, I wondered what the noise was. <laughs> <laughs> I can't open the door. I'll give it just a cold. <laughs> now, I want you to say after me a few simple English words. A few simple English words. Yeah, I haven't started. <laughs> I've complained from ERP that you are signaling to the enemy, and now you allow prisoners to escape. All these inefficiencies will be reported. You're too late, mate. It's already been recognition for the civil defence for my purposes. So get this lot out, so I can carry on with my lecture. Now, are you asking the army to retreat? Why not? You've had plenty of practice lately. No, 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 no. <laughs> Lots of you chaps about. Want to become generals overnight? You mean well enough, you don't know the first damn thing about soldiery. Now, war is a serious professional business. And this situation calls for professionals trained in guerrilla warfare like myself. Here you are, I ain't going out. What about Stop You're right, darling. Don't break into a trot. No, you don't understand, sir. You see, this is the turn we saw last night at the Hippodrome Theatre. You know, the woman that was a crack shot. If you get out that scout knife thing of yours, you know, got an hook thing on it, well, you get unbunging those ports without it working again in no time, won't we? That's right. You know, get unbunging. Es sind nun schon zehn Minuten her, seit wir abgeschossen worden sind. Keiner hat uns gefangen genommen. Kein Wunder, sie verlieren den Krieg. Number one platoon D Company, local defence volunteers, reporting to Colonel Square. Tradesman's entrance round the back. <laughs> I'm not used to being spoken to like that. All right, I'm all right. We'll talk about it later. If I tell the vicar, he'll turf you all out. There is a war on, you know. That cuts no ice with his reverence.